Okay. Here's my uh, uh, my Swiss Army knife. Cut a little divot in the board. I want to go about midway, middle middle-ish, middle part of the board, mid part of the board. In this particular instance, because of the the width of my the thickness of my spindle. And this little divot just gives the uh, just gives the uh, spindle a seat. It's a little windy out. Okay. Let me try to burn this in. Um, I've got palisoxia leaf. I've got some uh, tops of uh, horseweed here. I'm gonna try the palisoxia leaf for a lube in the top, in, this, in the uh, in my socket, and we'll see what we got. I'll burn this in. And that just gives me a little burn hole now on the top. Um, what I want to do now is uh, cut a little V-notch, which is going to give the dust a place to go and collect. And since I have my saw, it's a little bit easier. Typically, I want it to be Maybe a third to two thirds the size of the the uh, burn hole. Just all depends. But I want it to be just under the size of the burn hole. And when I cut it, I want to bring the base of the V all the way to the center of the burn hole. So I get more dust from it. And that should be pretty good. Okay, I want to reset. Make sure it's tight. We'll go five this time. One, two, three, four. 
five. We have another Palisoxia leaf. And a lot of people may want to know why I go kind of across rather than straight on to the uh, to the notch here. And the reason is because when I cut this notch, it makes this board uh, makes it weaker at that point. And if I go across direction to the board with the uh, the pressure that's being exerted on the board from the spindle, um, it's not as hard on this notch. Um, because of the, the weaker notch, if I went straight on, a lot of times I'll either get the spindle to kick out or the notch will break. I'll have a, a break right there at the notch. So, you know, if I, if I tend to, it, it, if I go to the side, it tends, the, the spindle tends to want to work against the thicker part, portions of the board. So that's why I want to do that. I, I want to keep, try, try to keep from breaking out the notch. Oh, I could have picked a uh, a bow that was a little a little lighter. <laughs> this one's a little heavy on the heavy side. A little bit ungainly. Fault's cool. <clears throat> okay, so what I did was get rid of this one that I had, and uh, I got a lot lighter one. It was uh, a little bit too heavy on me. So, you know, helps to get a lighter bow. And really and truthfully, um, I think I can just start right where I left off.
think I got it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a willow coal. Smells good too. Expand it a little bit. It is windy, but I'm gonna go ahead and chance it. <laughs> Everything's green, nothing's dry or dead. Um, a lot of places, um, don't have a palmetto, but it's one of the easiest ways I know of to get a tender bundle. Um, just a dead frond and stem, and I just break the stem off and shave the stem down to get these nice dry shavings and just stick them right in the frond and it's good to go. Quick, easy. Um, tender bundle. Okay, it looks to be big enough. Piece of uh, palmetto for a cold catch. I'm gonna fall on the green one. Okay. Because of the wind, I'm gonna set this. I want to set the fire bow on it to hold it down. So just a nylon cord, willow, spindle, board, and a, a scrub oak uh, bearing block or socket. And this is uh, Virginia or uh, sand pine. Thanks for watching.